What's up guys, welcome to What's New Tagu. I'm your host Chris Tagu with Alpine and we're here to talk about what's new. So today's topic probably isn't super new to the Alpine veterans in the room, but might be for those of you who are just discovering Alpine and what our head units can do. Let me ask you this, have you ever experienced this? My Alpine sounds really good. Let me set up my Bluetooth. Huh? Oh no. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So what's going on here? Why can't he access his settings on his ILX W650? Well, young Wyatt, it has to do with your parking brake. What? Yeah, bro, your parking brake. So in today's episode of What's New To Go, we're gonna be talking about the Alpine parking brake sequence. Cue the intro. Okay, so here's some background. In the early days of in-vehicle screen technology, you remember those, right? The killer motorized pop-up displays? Alpine and our industry colleagues quickly discovered that we needed to be more responsible and figure out a way to help protect our customers from the dangers of driver distraction. Well, what's driver distraction? Well, basically anything that can draw your eyes away from the road for an extended period of time. This could be anything from watching movies, navigating complex menus. So to help deter that, companies like us began including an extra wire in the radio harness that required you to connect to the vehicle's parking brake or e-brake, and in some cases, <clears throat> your pedal brake as well. That way you can ensure that the vehicle is not in motion while you're accessing some of the more complex features of the radio. So that's what's happening. If you're running into an issue where you can't access your settings on your ILX W650 or other recent Alpine head units with a display, start by engaging the parking brake, releasing it, and then engaging it again, like this. And just like that, your settings should magically be accessible. Now what happens if it's still grayed out after you try the parking brake? Well, it gets a little more complicated, but fear not, I'm here to help. First. If you had it installed by a friend or hopefully an authorized Alpine dealer, the best thing to do is contact that dealer and have them diagnose the parking brake. They may have overlooked that wire or connected it incorrectly, and the best way to make sure that the head unit is installed properly is to have the dealer ensure that that wire is connected to the parking brake. So for you DIY guys and gals out there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the wire you need to connect to. It's a yellow wire with a blue stripe. We actually include a very long wire for you to actually run it to the parking brake. Where does it go? Well, of course, this all depends on what vehicle you have, but assuming you have a multimeter, it's fairly simple to identify. And by the way, if you're doing any type of electrical work, including car audio installation, you most definitely should own a multimeter. The wire you're looking for needs to show ground when the parking brake is engaged, and in most cases, a surefire place to find it is somewhere near the base of the parking brake. Of course, there are other places you can find this wire in the car, but near the parking brake, albeit sometimes more difficult to get to, is certainly the easiest to identify once you're there. There are a plethora of resources online where you can find better clues where to locate this wire for your specific vehicle, so get on the interwebs and do some digging. Now, if any of this seems difficult or confusing, I would highly, highly, highly recommend taking it to a local authorized Alpine dealer to ensure everything is installed correctly and safely. That way you know you have access to all the radio has to offer. If you're looking for an authorized dealer, here's where you can find our dealer locator on our website. Cool? Well, there you have it, guys. Hopefully that little nugget of information helps you out. Thank you. That's very helpful. Not a problem, Wyatt. Now, if you guys are trying to pair your Bluetooth uh, to your phone, be sure to check out my episode two, where I actually guide you through pairing a phone with the ILX W650. Thanks for joining us, guys. If you like this video, be sure to like Alpine To Go on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Alpine To Go. And if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check out Alpine Chris's hilarious video talking about the parking brake sequence as well. The dude's hilarious. Alpine To Go signing off. Be safe out there and stay tuned for what's new.